Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, I'm just out of work and I thought let's do a camp. Um, we're having fantastic weather right now. It's like 21 degrees. I'm dying. I changed into a fleece. That wasn't a good idea. But what else would you want to do on this sunny day than a camp in a derelict abandoned building? So uh, that's what we're doing. Um, we're not too far away, so uh, let's just get there, right? Okay, we're just arriving at the house now. As you can see, it's pretty much surrounded by other houses. So I'm gonna spin you around. This is the boy. I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for an opportune time to go in. It's a real shithole. It's a real shithole. I mean, yeah. I know I can get into it. Um, basically the reason, I'll just ramble here. I'm gonna wait for some time. I think we'll be going now, actually I like it. The reason I picked this house is because there's a big hole in the door. Um, well, Nicola drives me past this. There's maybe a way in there. But I know there's a way in around the back, so that's where we're going. As you can see, it is mega exposed here. Mega, mega exposed. Especially to that house. But, uh, yeah. That little piece of wood is our way in. It's uh, an interesting place, but I will uh, show you more of it later. Uh, for now, I think with it being so bright, we should just try and get in. Okay, we made it in. <laughs> it's, uh, there's my bag. It was my intention to uh, show a nice shot of me going in and out, but getting in was a bit of a struggle. And then I got the bottom of the bag caught on a nail at the bottom, and I was like, why am I stuck? But anyway, we're here. I'm gonna catch my breath, and I'll be back with you again. <laughs> okay, despite still looking beetroot red, I've had some time to uh, settle myself down. I've had a little look downstairs. Uh, it's in varying degrees of uh, order, but uh, yeah, let's go for a little tour. Um, this is my entrance way. This is like a little porch, I think. Um, lovely, sort of, of its time, yellow cupboard. Step through here into, I don't know what this would have been. I assume this would have been the kitchen. I mean, I mean look at those curtains. That's, uh, that's quite, the, quite the detail. Um, yeah, I assume this would have been the kitchen. Uh, the floor is completely gone. There's the sink. Um, this is what is left of the bathroom. <laughs> At least I still have a toilet to pee in. And yeah, that's about it really. Um, you can see where some of the tiles and all have come off. And obviously the frosted window. Do we have, do we have electricity? Ah, oh, damn. Who'd have thought, eh? So then... This is our main hallway. So if we go straight across, we have this room. With some lovely orange paper and blue curtains. A classic uh, combination of colours. And uh, this creepy uh, aerial photo of a property. Now this isn't this property, so I don't really know where this is from. Could be anywhere, it's quite old as well. I'll look at the back later and see if there's any uh, indication as to where it's from. And then also we've got some writing here. J. Mills Balamoney, painter, 17th of March, 1981. Oh sorry, maybe that's the 12th of March. Sorry, the 12th of March, maybe, 1981. Not. I was minus nine then. I found this little uh, Harry Potter cupboard. Nothing in there apart from some tea cakes. Nice. And then the hallway. Um, there is a living room here, but it's completely boarded up and it's pitch black in there. There's also no floor. Um, 
but there is still the wooden slats, so it's like just lots of gaps. I don't think there's anything in there at all, apart from an old fireplace. I don't think it's really worth going to. Um, always nice, nice and uh, light. Why do I feel like I'm on one of those um, house flipping shows? <laughs> I'm looking at the stairs and there's a lot of bird shit on these stairs. Oh no, let's hope there isn't like a flock of pigeons up there. But yeah, so there is a room, there's a room just here as well. Um, but I'm not showing that yet because it's also very dark as well. But there's a couple of cool things in there that I'm just waiting to show you. Um, but this is what I mean about all the bird poop. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure someone will, but you have to be careful not to kick up dried bird poop, don't you? Because it can be bad for you, so I'm trying to be very careful. I was planning on sleeping in the upstairs, but the amount up here, I'm feeling like I probably won't. But let's have a look. I'll tell you one thing, it is up here incredibly warm. Incredibly, incredibly, holy shit. Okay, I said to myself, huh. The bird poop in here isn't too bad. And then I opened the door. <laughs> Let's just skip over that. It's uh, a wreck in here, as you can see. It's a nice decay here and there. Again, I don't want to be digging up with all this poop, but. That's the view we're dealing with. I'm sure if anyone looks up at this house, they're gonna be like, what the hell? Did you hear about the haunted the haunted house? <laughs> God, the amount of bird shit up here is absolutely gross. Well, I'll not be sleeping up here anyway. All right, let's check out the other room. Um, oh, I don't even wanna to touch that door. Oh, the amount of shit on the handle. <laughs> Right. I don't know what this is. This is just like a little access way. Hmm. Don't really fancy going in there. And this is the other room, which is also absolutely covered in feces. Holy literal shit. <laughs> so this is a very strange layout. Um I'll take you back into the front. I'll take you back to the front here. So I'm assuming this would have been a separate room at the time, because you've got this little alcove, and then you've got this. Horrendous. This is a nice little poop-free zone over here. I mean, no, I couldn't even sleep here. Damn it, I really want to sleep upstairs, but this is horrific. It's actually horrific up here. Wow, Cadbury snaps. Wow, I haven't seen those in a long time. Holy hell. One thing I do like though is um, I love this window. I love this kind of the wind fluttering the curtain, the window being smashed, the decay above it. It's very, um, it's giving apocalypse. <laughs> Well, safe to say, this place is gross, but um, we'll do a proper um, sort of spooky type tour like I did in my last abandoned house video later. But uh, I think I'm going to go back downstairs because I feel absolutely disgusting up here. There's this random little contraption here, I'm not sure what the hell this is meant to be. But um, I'm going to use this as my um, cooking station, I guess. But everything is covered in a thick layer of dust. Well, I actually brought baby wipes with me. <laughs> For this exact reason. Look at that. You can eat off it now. This is a rough... Uh, these are rough digs, like, I'll tell you that. This is probably the cleanest room. Um, 
There are some animal droppings in that corner, which is a bit concerning. Um, I feel like, despite this being indoors, I feel like this is uh, probably dirtier than being in a forest. Um, yeah. But anyway, as you can see, just getting myself set up. Um, I've got all my food, my bits and pieces here. So today we're having Irish stew with some cheddar mash. Don't get excited. The Irish stew is from a tin and the mash is the dry powdered stuff. I saw the stew in Tesco and I was like, ah, we'll give it a whirl. But um, I'm pretty certain it's gonna be rough. <laughs> but anyway. I've really got myself set up. I'm not going to put my sleep bag or anything out yet. I do have a tarp. If any of you watched my petrol station, abandoned petrol station video, or my other abandoned house video, I tend to lie the tarp out on the ground and then put my stuff on top of that. Because that way it just feels that little bit cleaner. And I just need that little bit. And I try that again. And I just need that little bit of uh, peace of mind, I feel. <laughs> this makes me feel just a little bit better. But anyway, let's finish getting this done, and then I will get back to you. to level this out so it feels kind of rickety but I hope <laughs> okay well here we are uh, lovely creepy portrait in the background food behind me now nothing but time <laughs> uh, I'm gonna grab my torch and we're gonna have a quick look at the rooms we couldn't really see in very well and then uh, yeah I suppose we'll start thinking about getting dinner um, I'm going to try and get as much footage done as I can between now and 8 o'clock because uh, depending on when you're watching this video, if you're watching it the same week I upload it, um, the European Championships are on for football, soccer, whatever you want to call it, and uh, Scotland are playing Switzerland tonight, and uh, despite being English, I always want to see the other home nations do well, so I'm really hoping Scotland can get a result. Um, so I just don't have enough phone signal to be able to stream it to my phone. So that's what I'll be doing between 8 and 10. So I have no intention of doing anything between 8 and 10. So I have a smaller window to get everything done. So yeah. Let's go see what these other rooms are like, will we? Okay, the other rooms are bust. This room has all the old furniture placed in it. There's not a whole lot to see, but... I'll do that bit properly later. But it's funny finding just old brands. I really enjoy that. Like you just you know you see a brand of like Pepsi or something and it's like a really old can. Like I just find that fascinating. I don't know why. Call me weird. But I enjoy it. As you can see, the garden has definitely seen better days. Uh, so just for context, next to this oil tank is the room I'm in. This was the bathroom. Obviously that's the way in. And you can't really see the front. But I don't want to go around the front yet. Just because there's too many people. Although the ground is very well trodden down. I've noticed so a lot of people obviously must sneak back here.
Well, I hope you enjoyed a little tour of some of the finer features of this uh, humble abode. Um, I'll maybe do another one in the dark because it's quite. I enjoyed that last time. But um, yeah, all there is to do now is get some dinner. Um, luckily, this is here. It's got a nice little table. I know I should do this, but got a nice little table set up next to this eerie photo. Um, so yeah, let's get some dinner on. Ah, thank you, Shwo. I keep forgetting how low this chair is. Right, you schlags. Let's get some dinner on the go. Okay, today we're having tinned Irish stew. <laughs> and then some of this um, instant mash stuff. I actually really like the instant mash. Um, now, I have this pot for boiling water in. And then I brought this old battered pan. So I'm gonna heat the stew in this and then I'm just gonna pour the dried potato mix in the same pan and then just pour boiling water on it and then try and then plate it. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, let's see, what am I doing? We'll heat the stew up first, I guess. Let's see what this is like. This reminds me this will be something like dog food. Oh, well, actually. Huh. You know what, that actually doesn't smell too bad. I mean, it, look, it looks horrendous, but... Yeah, we'll see. Mmm. <laughs> it's not a particularly nice stewy colour, is it? Put the gas on the go. Just using the gas on a nice... Random plank of wood. What could go wrong, eh? Yeah, I'll be honest, the more ooh, the more this cooks, the more it kind of smells faintly of dog food. And it kind of has a school dinner taste or smell to it, which doesn't really say a lot about the uh, the uh, quality of my school dinners, eh? <laughs> well, anyway, I think that's probably heated up enough for now. Well, then, oh, I didn't mean to turn that off. I'll then get that water boiling. And then what I'll do is I'll try and make a space. Oh, actually, you no, know, I suppose I could just make the mash directly on this plate. I don't know, that's a bad idea, I don't know. I don't really know right now. So I need to put 405 mils of water into a bowl. I'm just going to just throw it into that pan and just throw some water on top. And uh, hope for the best. <laughs> mm. This stuff smells great. That's my partially heated stew and a pile of uh, dried potato. And then I'm just going to pour the boiling water on top and hope that that works out. <laughs> This is slightly embarrassing. I think this video may be early, ending early. Okay, well make sure you've got all your equipment away. Yeah, no, I am, I am. It's even worse because I was literally doing my food, so I look like a proper, I look properly homeless. Okay. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but anyway. Yes, I'll keep you posted anyway, okay? So, I'm not in the house. <laughs> I'm not sure what I could record there, so I'm not sure what I got. But long story short, the owner of the house rang the police and the police have escorted me out. But they were very friendly and it was very embarrassing because I basically had to explain <laughs> that <laughs> I'm not homeless. Um, I'm, cam I'm doing a YouTube video because that's the first thing the police will ask. Like, are you homeless? And I was like, no, 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 this is for YouTube, I'm not insane. Um, but the owner was happy enough that I wasn't doing damage. 
there was a slight concern because the back door was already damaged that um, I had done it and I could be liable for it. So I was like, oh no, you've got to be kidding me. But it was all fine. The police were very lovely. They were quite funny, actually. I think they were found. The f I think they saw the funny side of the situation. So I just apologise for basically bringing them out for such a stupid thing. And um, yeah, but that was pretty embarrassing. So I've called Nicola. She's coming to pick me up, and this camp is officially abandoned. Um, the worst bit about it was I just started doing my dinner, and then <laughs> so. The room smelled like really horrible st uh, beef stew. I literally just had to throw it all in a plastic bag and throw it in the pan. I've, I've thrown the entire pan and all the food in a, in a bin. I've just, oh, I'm so embarrassed. Jesus Christ. But yeah, whenever he said I could be liable for the damage, I was like, oh no, this is terrible. This is so stupid. But um, yeah, they saw the funny side of it. We got some good footage of the house. I'm not camping in it anymore. So this is a fail. Uh, I didn't even get a thumbnail for this one. Uh, but oh well. So I'm still going to upload it. It'll be quite a short video. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. I am going to die of embarrassment when I get home. But anyway, if you enjoyed this uh, camp, uh, be sure to like the video and all that stuff. But otherwise, I'll see you in the next one where hopefully I, um, you know, actually camp.